is it better to leave an espresso machine on all the time or turn it off when not in use? Hi, Mark here from wholelattelove.com. So last week, we took a look at how much energy a prosumer level espresso machine uses. If you missed that video, use the link up top to check it out. You'll get answers on when it makes sense to leave it on or turn it off based on energy usage. Now, at the end of that video, I promise to get back to you with recommendations and advice from machine manufacturers on how leaving a machine on all the time or turning it on and off for use can affect its components. For that, I spoke with my friend Michael Hawk at Profitech in Germany. He's visited our studio in the past and he's the designer engineer responsible for machines like their Pro 500 heat exchanger and the Pro 700 dual boiler, which I have here and we used for the energy test video. Now, before we get to Michael's advice, a quick thank you to all those who left comments on the energy use video. I asked for them and you guys didn't let me down. And just so you know, I try to personally respond within one business day to every comment we get. So if you've got questions, I'll get you answers. Be it from me, our technicians that work on the machines every day, or I can go right to the guys like Michael who design and engineer these machines. So the basic question was, is it better for a machine to be left on all the time or turn it off when not in use? According to Michael, it's best to turn a machine off when not in use. He says the heating and cooling is gradual enough that it causes no detrimental wear and tear on machine parts due to thermal expansion and contraction. He went on to say that leaving a machine heated all the time reduces the lifetime of things like gaskets and electrical parts like signal lights, solid state relays, control boxes, solenoid valves and motors. And Profitech's general recommendation is to not leave unattended machines switched on. Now, Michael uses a timer on his own home machine so it's fully heated up and ready to go when he wants to use it. Now, if you go with a timer, be sure it's rated to handle the power load of your machine. Not all of them are. In a future video, I'll cover timers that are a good choice for home espresso machines. Until then, if you've got questions or opinions, use those comments. I'm Mark. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll subscribe and come back soon for more of the good stuff on Everything Coffee brought to you by WholeLatteLove.com. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelattelove.com.